craving comfort food, nothing hits the spot quite like a bowl of ramen noodles. So this morning on Today Food, we're going to show you how to kick up the classic dish with the help of Judy Ju, author of Korean Food Made Simple. Judy, good morning. Good morning. I was just telling you, I love these noodle soup bowls, and I just always wanted to make it at home. So yeah. you're going to show us that it's very easy. So this is super easy. <laughs> this is probably the easiest recipe in my cookbook by yes. far. And so when you're home late and you don't feel like cooking anything mm -hmm. really fancy, this is something you can do, which is kind of instant but you can really pimp out with all of your leftovers and anything like that. that you have in your refrigerator. So what are some of the ingredients? So we start out with some chicken stock instead mm -hmm. of water just to pump up the flavor and then gochugara which are Korean chili flakes. Okay. If you can't find these you can use any other Where chili flakes. Where can you flakes. find some of these Korean um, online, ingredients? Online, any kind of retailer, Chinatown, oh. some Korean re retailers. Okay. And then the uh, this is denjang which is fermented soybean paste and you okay. can use red miso if you can't find this. Okay. Really easy to find miso. And this is a magical sauce. It's a Korean gochujang okay. which is fermented to chili paste and if you can't find this use another type of chili sauce and it works well. And then I'll, you can yeah. kind of swap and then you those mix out. that all in. I'll let okay. you get started. We'll put but these on here. everything else um, other than the noodles is anything that you have in your fridge. So here we've got a chili, we've got eggs, we've got scallions, sugar snap peas, mm -hmm. chicken, prawns, shrimp, really anything, anything you have and just dump so it all in. So once you get the main flavorings you can really exactly. put anything in. Exactly. I wouldn't put marshmallow peeps in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Justin Chapel might have a recipe Maybe for, for garnish on top or something. And so this makes your really rich stock. And okay. as you can tell, it makes it a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. If you like this, pump it up, pimp it up, a bit more spice. Okay. Really, really tasty. And this, the soybean paste really mm -hmm. adds a really great depth of flavor. Nice. So these noodles usually come with um, seasoning packs. Spice packets. Throw right. those away. Full of They're MSG. So salty. And so, yes. yeah, so salty, etc. These noodles. So use the noodles, not the pack. Break in. Just takes a couple minutes. This okay. is what it's so easy. And if you can find the ones that are baked and not fried, it's even healthier. Oh, so it's right. great. Thanks. So you're just going to so let that, yeah, give that a stir. wilt down or whatever you call noodles doing. Yeah. So then <laughs> let's pump up the heat. And then you could put in sugar whatever snap peas, but anything that, that you have. That adds a nice pop. Yeah, exactly. And okay. so you are can you guys put in corn. This? And it's, she's right. It's so simple, but so good. Yeah. It's so so simple. I, he caught I mean, me eating it with yeah. my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, I picked a bad it's time really to ask fresh. how you guys are doing. It's fresh because and you're the raw taking... raw shrimp goes right in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything. You can you put whatever. you throw chicken in also? You go chicken, leftover steak. You could put meatballs. Ooh, Yeah, nice. you've got ravi raviolis or, or dumplings. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Right. And then um, once everything is cooked, you can see that noodles are cooked, then you can put in some more veggies, like All spinach right. wilts really quickly. Mm -hmm. Just pop that in. The and egg that? thing is fascinating mm -hmm. to me because you're going to actually poach this egg in... The sauce. Yes. So you can either soup. poach it mm -hmm. and you cover it and let it sit there and you get a whole egg, mm -hmm. or you can make ribbons like an egg drop soup. Oh. Ooh. So that's fun that too. Easy so too. Can, yeah. The poached egg is great. The poached mm -hmm. egg is good because then you get that gooey so center good. that is so, 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 so tasty. And then this is, that in. and you even topped it with some chicken too. So chicken. do I just break right into you the egg? You can break right into that. Ooh, that's so you get really something good. spicy. That looks but so it's nice. so easy. a large bowl. Easy. Too. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, am I not eating, yeah. am I eating out of the serving bowl? Yeah. <laughs> but mm. it's really a great way to use up all of your leftovers, anything oh that you have. And then it's kind of healthy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Because it's a lot of vegetables. You're getting your protein. Things and are kind of poaching. It's not that crazy amount of salt you normally get with the no, packets. It's not. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. And, and I think kids would like it. My kids maybe my kids would love it. Yeah, and it's super easy. And I'm serving it with. Soul style wings, these are not from Buffalo. So this, <laughs> instead of using the hot sauce, I'm mm -hmm. using gochujang, gochugaro, the Korean ingredients, the ones you see over oh, there. The oh. And it gives it a real depth of flavor and complexity that oh, you don't get with regular hot this wings. This is delicious. Judy, thank you so much. And for thank this you. recipe, head to today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.